Hello, this is Jons Lehten from Vardin. What I'm doing here is try to test browser sync with Vardin and JRebel. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm doing over here already is, is running a simple Vardin Hello World application together with JRebel. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is running browser sync. So the parameters I'm giving over here is proxy uh, for the local port and the trick is to actually listen for JRebel statistics for, for changes. So basically whenever I'm changing a class uh, and JRebel is loading, reloading this class to JVM, it writes out this a change to this file and the theory is that the browser sync should be synchronizing the browsers. So let's get started. I'll run the browser sync first. It starts in the local host in port 3000. And I have it open already over here. So now I have an iPhone simulator over here and a Safari running over here. And the cool thing is when I'm kind of doing an action in one browser, it actually reflects the same event to other browsers. So when I'm clicking in Safari, it actually sends the event over to iPhone as well and vice versa. And when I'm doing a change over here, let's say I'll uh, change the label for from uh, from test to button and now press save. Uh, JRebel reloads the change over here. Uh, browser sync finds out that JRebel does that and then reloads all the browsers. So now it says button. I the only thing that I have to do is is basically press save for getting these to reload. How cool is that? So, to try this out by yourself, what you could do is first uh, go to one.com and over there you can take a look through the tutorial how to get started with Vardin. Then just get JRebel. Oops. From the zero turnaround. Uh, so their instructions are pretty helpful how to get started with that and finally find browser sync from browsersync.io and there is a good getting started in instructions for installing browser sync through node package manager and getting started with that and just to remind you the trick to get everything working together is to listen for your JRebel changes or JRebel statistics file over here. Thank you, try it out and ping me back. I would like to hear and learn about your experiences on, on using this.